the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge held a postponed reception at Kensington Palace to celebrate the artwork of the Princess of Wales that was unveiled to the public last summer. This comes on the same day that the Duchess of Cambridge held everyone's attention as she made a keynote speech on addiction at a campaign event for the Forward Trust. Prince William, 39, and his wife invited people who made donations towards the statue to their home to thank them for their contributions. The statue depicts the Princess of Wales with a short haircut, dressed in the clothes of the 1990s. The bronze figure, crafted by artist Ian Rank Broadley, is then circled by three children. However, Prince Harry did not attend the event in honor of his mother, choosing not to fly back to the UK from California. While, some royal fans scoffed at Prince Harry's strange decision. Harry and his wife created this situation all by themselves. They can sit in the SHT crap they've made. Harry wants the limelight just on him. Because Harry wasn't paid to make an appearance. William probably told Harry the Netflix cameraman wasn't allowed to attend. No cameraman, no Harry. Besides, Prince Harry and William feud will get bigger over Diana Memorial Party, expert claims. I think it's very sad that Harry didn't go and I think he, would have been, sorely missed, royal expert Duncan Larkcombe, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story. Obviously he lives a long way away now and we've still got travel restrictions but it's entirely possible for him to fly back to the UK, as he showed in July for the unveiling of the statue. Both of Diana's sons should be there. Unfortunately, it's just further confirmation, not that another is needed, that things are not great between the brothers. If their mother's legacy can't bring them together then you do wonder what on earth can. Duncan believes William will do the decent thing and refer to Harry when he thanks stoners at the party. It'll be interesting to see if William makes any reference to Harry and I would expect he will, have done, he continues. He, will have, thanked people for being there on behalf of him and his brother. We'll have to wait until we know what William, has said, before we can draw conclusions about whether the rift has deepened. With Harry's announcement that he's in the process of writing a memoir and memories of the Oprah interview still fresh in the minds of the royal family, there's little surprise that relations between the brothers remain sour, says Duncan. It's very easy to forget just how personal the attack on Oprah was against Kate, he says. William is understandably very protective of Kate and let's not forget that Meghan directly accused Kate of making her cry rather than the other way round. She then accused Kate of briefing journalists against her, or at least not clarifying the truth of the story, when actually it's a very strong allegation to make publicly. Between two members of the royal family it's almost unheard of. The only other royal who's done that is Diana when she was publicly attacking her husband. Despite all the rancor, Duncan describes Harry's absence from the memorial party as an opportunity missed. William can't just hop on a plane to see Harry easily, although of course he could, but they live thousands of miles apart and you do wonder when they will find common ground in the future. I'm told that at the moment there's a wait and see what's in Harry's book attitude among the royal family. But the reality is that Diana's memorial party is another opportunity missed for the two brothers to get together. Although Tuesday afternoon's Kensington Palace event was held behind doors out of public view, the Duchess of Cambridge had made a splash with her impassioned speech on the effects of addiction as a patron of the Forward Trust. She spoke with popular television presenters Anne McPartland and Declan Donnelly on the turmoil which families go through when it comes to addiction. She said, even hearing some of the stories today, there's that feeling that you have to carry that secret alone and actually once you start sharing your stories, People have either experienced it themselves or know someone that's gone through addiction. Then appearing at the more private Kensington Palace event, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were able to examine the statue in the presence of those who had supported the project. Guests of the Tuesday afternoon ceremony likely included friends of the late princess, as well as family members and former staff.